just really quick. I'm Chief Madry. I'm the Chief of Patrol for the NYPD. Standing here with me, of course, is our Borough President, Ms. Uh, Vanessa uh, Gibson, our Borough Commander, Chief Rivera, Executive Officer of Patrol Services Bureau, Chief John Shell, uh, Executive Officer of the Patrol Borough Bronx, Chief DeSigley, Executive Officer of the Highway District, and Deputy Inspector Wynn, and the Commanding Officer of the 441 Precinct, Captain Masia. All right. So I'm going to give you some details of this uh, accident that occurred earlier this afternoon. Everything I, I'm saying is, is still, this is just an initial investigation. This is an active scene and the information is subject to change. But about 3.10 this afternoon, right here on Westchester Avenue, members of the 401 Precinct were responding to a call of a vehicle being stolen. And our officers were diligently responding and unfortunately, this accident became an intervening cause and the vehicle actually did get stolen. We were never able to get there. But while officers were responding to this call of a vehicle being stolen, we had a, a marked 4x4 headed northbound on Westchester Avenue. When they got to the intersection of Ho Avenue, there was a vehicle right in front of them. The officers crossed over the double yellow line to go around the vehicle, but the vehicle made a left-hand turn, at which point the, the department vehicle and the, civil, the civilian vehicle, they clipped each other. Their, their uh, front ends clipped each other, and it caused the RMP to veer off further to its left, further northbound, and onto the sidewalk of Hoa Avenue, where approximately six civilians, six pedestrians were standing in front of the location. The, the pedestrians were struck by the department vehicle. Other members of the department immediately responded there. They immediately start providing aid to the civilians along with other members of the community that were out here. Uh, the two officers in the vehicle, they su sustained some injuries as well as the vehicle that was, that was involved in the incident with the, with the mock police car. So right now we have a total of 10 people who are injured, oldest being 65, youngest being five years old on the sidewalk, and a two-year-old in the civilian vehicle. So as of right now, our collision investigation unit has conducted an investigation. They'll continue to talk to witnesses, they'll continue to find video, and they'll continue to piece together exactly what happened here. So at a later time, we'll have a full understanding of what occurred. But this is the initial uh, events of what occurred earlier today. Chief, how do you feel? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go, go, take a couple of questions. Stephon, Chief. Uh, witnesses say that the child and mother were pinned against the wall between the cruiser. Is that? Uh, th I don't have 100% details. This is something that will be uncovered in the investigation. But the, the, the marked vehicle was close up against the wall. There were people there. So, you know, this will be uncovered in the investigation. This was AMBC. Uh, you, guys, you guys have been responding to a call that was being stolen. Was there a chase involved in that vehicle at all? No, no chase at all. And I really want to commend the members of the 401 Precinct because they were trying to get here. They were trying to prevent that crime. They were trying to apprehend someone that was attempting to steal a vehicle. And unfortunately, the accident allowed the person to steal the vehicle. So we didn't even catch the person who we were trying to get because once that accident occurred, then the officers had to get into life-saving mode and make sure all of our uh, civilians were, were okay. And all the civilians, including the officers and the motors, were all removed to local hospitals. And again, if I didn't say it, no one is likely at this time. Roger, How do you feel your officers were out doing their job and for whatever reason, there are people, civilians now in the hospital that have never fought? Well, of course, we don't want to see anybody injured, especially when the officers were trying to do the right thing. They were tr trying to prevent a crime in progress. They were trying to apprehend someone who was ready to victimize a good person in the Bronx. And unfortunately, you know, this collision occurred and people were injured, including the officers. But uh, we know that they're getting the best medical care right now. We just pray for everybody, the officers and the families. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. On the police cruiser, on the police vehicle. I'll answer that. Lights and sirens. We're, at, uh, we're on the vehicle. Yes. Thank you, everybody. What, what state are people? Thank you. 
who were considered and critical, everybody else not like. Both people in the civilian car were hurt. 